Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and welcome to another episode of Miss Universe 2022 Contestants Profile Review and Analysis Welcome! So today we will be talking about Norway's representative to Miss Universe 2022 and also please stay tuned because at the end of the video we will determine whether Norway is in our current top 16 or not. Now, before we talk about Norway's representative this year, let's talk about their performances in the latest 10 editions of Miss Universe. So that's from 2012 to 2021. And from the last 10 editions, unfortunately, Norway didn't make any placements. Now, and this year, they just crowned Ida Ha Wan. And before we continue, don't forget to follow her on her Instagram account, which I will be posting at the bottom part of the screen so that we could be able to follow her journey to the Miss Universe 2022 pageant. And it is at Ida Ha Wan. Okay? Now, for Ida, she's 26 years old and she is a professional model. I can't find any clips of her performances in the national pageant, but after browsing everything about her in social media, I have to be honest, I am not sensing any spark yet from Norway. And that's something that I'm really looking forward to for a long time, especially that in the previous era of Miss Universe, Norway has been dominating pageantry so i'm not really sure what's happening right now so the organization really needs to do a revamp on how they're doing their selection process their casting process and their preparation process because if the organization are doing something right they'll know because their representatives are being talked about being praised about and being included in the list of favorites and for the last years that we've seen nada Norway hasn't been noticed in pageantry. So, to the Miss Norway organization, I really hope that they really need to change something in how they prepare, select, and train their contestants. And, you know, just some changes will do. She, I mean, for their representative this year, I mean, she's beautiful and she's adorable, especially with her reaction when she was announced as the winner of Miss Universe Norway 2022 but as of this time I really think she needs to pull a lot of work in order for her to get a placement especially in a batch full of competitive ladies I wanted to see an impressive revamp on the styling because I really wasn't convinced with her overall look during her coronation Ugh. the way she looked during coronation doesn't really scream Miss Universe to me and I'm sorry I'm just trying to be honest because we all wanted to see Ida go to Miss Universe in her most competitive self so if they really wanted to have a strong shot at Miss Universe at getting that placement then they really need to invest in her when it comes to styling preparation and wardrobe and I'm not sure how she does when it comes to the walk on the runway and on interviews but they need to add those in their preparation process as well and who knows we could be seeing some surprises but as, but as of now i'm still not really sure at how far she'll go okay but i don't want to be negative keep on training keep on preparing and we'll see okay Let's see how she'll improve as she prepares for Miss Universe. Let's give her time to prepare. Having said that, Norway is the 44th candidate that we reviewed. And here's my current ranking for Miss Universe 2022. Unfortunately, Norway did not make my list so far. So which means my current top 16 still remains the same. 16 for Ghana, 15 Dominican Republic, 14 Indonesia, 13 Angola, 12 Panama, 11 for Portugal, 10 for Peru, 9 Curaçao, 8 Mexico, 7 Cambodia, 6 Vietnam, 5 Venezuela, 4 Aruba, 3 for Philippines, 2 Colombia, and my current number 1 is still Thailand. Now if you haven't seen my reviews for these ladies, 
you can go ahead and check out my YouTube channel because it's already in there. Now, what are your thoughts about Norway? What do you think that they need to do to get that first that first placement in more than a decade? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. For now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.